Hey there, and welcome to Janko TV. It's the weekend, or a sick day, or just a regular Tuesday night, and you need to binge watch something. You don't just want it, you need it. Where to begin? Fear not, we're here to help. Below you'll find an ever-expanding recommended list of TV shows available on Netflix Part 6, curated by STV Obsessives. The mix covers a myriad of genres, lengths, countries of origins, and much more, but the one thing they have in common is that they are all excellent. If you want the full Monty, peruse our picks for the best series and TV shows on Netflix right now below. For more recommendations, check out our list of the best movies on Netflix, best sci-fi shows on Netflix, and best fantasy shows on Netflix. Let's dive into the must-see series on Netflix right now. Number 51. The Magicians. Based on the terrific book trilogy by Lev Grossman, Sci-Fi's The Magicians could be crudely described as an R-rated Harry Potter. Jason Ralph stars as Quentin Coldwater, a melancholic late 20-something who discovers that not only is magic actually real, but he's a magician. He goes to Breakbills, a graduate school for magicians of sorts, and soon discovers there's an even bigger twist involved. The show, like the books, tackles issues of depression, sexual assault, and mental illness in a realistic but entertaining way. Its darkly funny sense of humor keeps things from getting too dark, and the performances are great. The show really comes into its own in season 2 and only gets better as it goes on, but the first season is an entertaining introduction into the fucked up world of the magicians. Number 52. The Good Place. Try to imagine Lost as a sitcom plus some more philosophical depth and a lot more humor, and you're on your way to the good place. Parks and Recreation showrunner Michael Schur's new sitcom is set in an afterlife where Eleanor Shostrop, a recently deceased woman who lived a selfish, spiteful life, has ended up in the good place by mistake. With the help of her soulmate Chitty, she tries to learn how to be a better person as we get flashbacks to Eleanor's life and the lives of those around her. Meanwhile, the architect of the good place, Michael, tries to figure out why everything in this utopia is going haywire. It's a sweet, funny, brilliant bit of television, and when I finally caught up with it, I was angry that I hadn't watched it sooner. Watch it as soon as possible. Number 53. Stranger Things. You've no doubt heard the hype, so let us set you straight, believe it. Stranger Things popped up almost out of nowhere as a new Netflix original series that had little buzz surrounding its pre-release. But the 80s set mystery thriller is equal parts it, Stand By Me, and The Goonies as it mashes up the creepy atmosphere of a Stephen King novel with compelling characters and a strong narrative drive. The true test of Stranger Things is whether the show works without the nostalgia-inducing 80s setting, and the answer is yes. There's a government mystery, impressive effects, and most of all memorable characters that are a joy to watch, and creators slash writers slash directors Matt Duffer and Ross Duffer craft each season like one long movie divided into chapters. Indeed, one could easily watch an entire season in one day without feeling like it's dragging or hitting upon an easy stopping point, as this is more television as novel than episodic TV. Which makes it a delightful binge. Number 54. Black Mirror. American audiences were a bit late to the Channel 4 anthology series, but when Netflix released the first six episodes of Black Mirror to streaming, the internet collectively lost its mind over Charlie Brooker's dark, unsettling spin on contemporary culture. Often described a modern-day Twilight Zone, Black Mirror tackles subjects like politics, technology, fame, and grief through the lens of genre fiction, leading to self-contained episodes that are engrossing, terrifying, wrenching, and occasionally revolting. A touch of Kurt Vonnegut, a splash of William Gibson, and yes, a hint of the Twilight Zone, Black Mirror is its own beast entirely, but like all the best sci-fi, it rattles your perceptions and leaves you wanting more. And now, with brand new episodes produced exclusively for Netflix, there's even more Black Mirror to enjoy. Have fun debating your favorite episodes with your friends. Number 55. Gilmore Girls. 
With the four-part reunion available on Netflix as well, now is the perfect time to catch up on Amy Sherman Palladino's fast-talking, pop culture related comfort TV. Gilmore Girls is about three generations of brilliant women, grandmother Emily, a wealthy socialite, her rebellious daughter Lorelai, and Lorelai's studious daughter Rory, who spends the series finding out her place between her mother's and grandmother's worlds. The series' dialogue moves at a manic pace, contrasting with the sleepy town of Stars Hollow, Connecticut, which serves as a cozy backdrop for the series. While romances dominate most of the plot lines, the series meanwhile introduces a wealth of unforgettable characters as it explores the importance of family, friends, and honest relationships. After showrunner Palladino left in the final season, the series hit a major stumbling block, but the full series is worth a watch regardless. Number 56. The People v. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story. Few could have predicted not only how big of a deal the People v. O.J. Simpson, American Crime Story would be, but also how genuinely great the show is. The first installment of a new anthology series from American Horror Story and Glee creator Ryan Murphy, O.J. takes a unique look at this seminal moment in history by revealing new truths not just about the case, but the environment surrounding it. How issues of sexism, racism, and class played heavy roles in the outcome and how little known facts changed the course of history forever. The show is tremendously well acted, especially by Sarah Paulson as Marsha Clark, Sterling K. Brown as Christopher Darden, and Courtney B. Vance as Johnny Cochran. Trust me, this is not the show you think, and as a 10-episode piece of storytelling it's one of the best things that's aired on TV in the past decade. Number 57. The Flash. If you aren't ready for the entirely crazy, true comic book fever of The Flash, then the CW superhero show may not be for you. But for those willing to work with its full embrace of its comic origins, including time travel, alternate universes, and Gorilla Grodd, will be rewarded. The Flash deals with many dark and difficult themes, and yet, more often feels like a light and fun romp through Central City's chaotic world. It follows the story of Barry Allen as he comes to terms with his newly bestowed super speed and his city's need to fight off a myriad of super-powered villains. But, he still has time for dating and unrequited love, as well as some crossover time spent with Team Arrow. The Flash has an instantly lovable cast, a never-ending supply of great hooks, and a myriad of long-form arcs that help anchor its Villain of the Week plots. It's wholly accessible to non-comic readers, but also has plenty of insider references to keep comic fans happy. Above all, it never loses its heart or its mirth, even in the midst of saving the world. Number 58. The Crown. In the mood for a period drama? The Crown has you covered. This extremely expensive TV series follows the early reign of England's Queen Elizabeth II, changing the cast every two seasons to account for the aging of the characters. Claire Foy plays young Elizabeth as the first two seasons chart her being thrust into the role of Queen and learning the ropes, followed by Oscar winner Olivia Colman and eventually Imelda Staunton in the upcoming final two seasons. The show is a delight to take in, but also deals with the weight of the royal crown in a compelling manner. And did I mention it's one of Netflix's most expensive shows? The production value is jaw-dropping. Number 59. Bloodline. As far as crime dramas go, Bloodline rivals rectify for the most engrossing mystery and engaging exploration of family relationships on TV, at least in its first season. The crux of Bloodline centers on Ben Mendelsohn's Danny Rayburn, the oldest son and black sheep of a prestigious Florida Keys family. Danny brings a black cloud and plenty of intrigue with him, and Mendelsohn's layered performance is as good as any you're likely to encounter. That being said, the supporting cast is just as talented at bringing their duplicitous and dynamic characters to life. Everyone has a secret in Bloodline, but only some are willing to kill to keep it that way. Number 60. iZombie. Loosely based on the comic by Chris Roberson and Michael Allred, iZombie stars Rose McIver as Liz, a medical resident with the perfect job, perfect fiancé, and perfect life, who loses it all one night when she's transformed into a zombie.
Her hair may be chalk white, and her heart may only beat twice a minute, but she can still walk, talk, act, think and feel like a human, as long as she regularly feeds on human brains. The good news is that Liz uses her medical degree to land a job at the local morgue where she has a regular supply. Bad news is she temporarily inherits the memories, personality, and skills of anybody she eats, which puts her on the scent of a series of murders enacted by some less morally sound zombies. Working under the guise of a psychic, she uses her visions to work with a local detective in order to solve the murders and give her new life a sense of purpose. Despite dealing in death, the first season of iZombie is mostly lighter fare that leans in on the procedural element. Fortunately, the cases of the week are infinitely fun thanks to McIver's consistently likable but wonderfully variable performance as she adopts the personality traits of the victims. Well, that's it for our list of the best Netflix shows and original series. Whether you're looking for something funny, dramatic, or just plain binge-worthy, these series are sure to keep you entertained. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one!